Hi everybody, uh, welcome to Two Jews on Film. I'm Joan. Um, I'm going to review a film called Birth of a Nation. First I have to say, I have seen so many films about the Holocaust, so many films about slavery, and I, it, it, they sicken me beyond belief to think that mankind could do such atrocities to other humans is just, my brain doesn't compute. And the other day I was saying to my friend, I, I can't see any more films on the Holocaust. And I knew uh, Birth of a Nation was coming up and it just takes so much out of me. And, you know, a, real, a part of me did not want to see it because I remember when I saw 12 Years of Slave, which I thought was beautiful. I just wanted to, you know, like jump through the screen and, and kill every one of those disgusting human beings. Okay, having said that, um, Birth, Birth of a Nation was uh, written, directed, and starred Nate Parker. And I know there's a lot of controversy about him in regards to when he was in college with his friend, if he raped this girl or if he didn't, but that's not the issue. The issue is the movie. And I really expected to be put through the ringer during this movie, and I wasn't. I was not emotionally connected to it. I think this is a perfect case of one man wearing too many hats. There was he had no per, no one to tell him, "Hey, this isn't working." Um, the story is, of course, important. Uh, Nate Turner was a preacher and um, a slave, and he rebelled. But the way the movie is, it, it, like he doesn't rebel until the last maybe ten minutes of the film. And you, you're sitting through so much, you know, brutality and horrific stuff. And I don't know what it was. It was just like, for me, it, I, emotionally, I felt very detached from it. At times, I thought Nate Parker was posing, like he would hold the camera on himself, maybe a little too long. Um, Jackie Lee. What's his name? Jackie Earl Haley is in it, you know, and he plays this horrific person, a slave. I guess he captures slaves. Um, uh, Army Hammer is in it. He's like one of the nicer slave owners, but not really. You know, it's just, I don't know. Um, I, the movie just did not work for me at all, and I so wanted it to work, and I, you know, and then I started feeling guilty about it, like, how could you see a film like this and not have it work, and I read other reviewers, and I'm not the only one that felt that the film was missing something, so, um, yeah, I don't know what really what else to say, it opens, it opened Friday, October, um, 7th, um, I'm going to give Birth of a Nation, The Birth of a Nation, I'm going to give it... Well, I'm going to give it two and a half bagels out of five with cream cheese and lox because it is a very important subject. But when you see a film like Amistad or a film like, you know, as I said, 12 Years a Slave, um, it's just, those films are so powerful. And for me, this film lacked, lacked that power. Um, I'd love to know what you think. Please tell me. Um, Please subscribe if you haven't or tell your friends to choose Jews on Film and you can listen to me at jcastnetwork.org. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Now I'm going to go watch Hillary kick Trump's ass. Oh, my God. I guess I shouldn't bring that up in a review. But, I mean, really, I can't believe anybody would enjoy my v v views and, and, and not think that Trump is one of the most deplorable, despicable inhumane humans on the planet. Okay, go see the <laughs> go see a good movie. Bye.